hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to share with you a scintillating news about mistral that they have just released pixtrol which is a multi-modal model from mistral which hasn't even been released yet properly by that i mean that mistral has just tweeted this magnet or this torrent id on x or twitter and people have already downloaded it and have released a community version of it and that is what we are going to install it locally and see if it works or not exactly so this video is a bit different because i'm way too excited to try it out so i just thought okay why not i should try it out in front of you to see how it works or whether it works or not if you don't know what mistral is and what exactly its model are I would highly suggest you to go to my channel and from there just search with Mistral and you should be able to find heaps of models. So let me just search it quickly and show you. So if you go here you will see that I have done I think more than 50 or maybe even more videos on different models of Mistral which include Mistral Nemo, Mistral Large 2, Mistral um, Mathstral. And then we have also seen how to fine tune these code stroll and then mistral embed mix stroll which is a uh, mixture of expert model even code stroll maba and the list goes on and on and on i'm not going to bore you with this stuff at, in this video but just in case if you're not aware of mistral i would highly suggest you become aware of them because they have released one of the few of the most capable open source models in the wild where they have enabled the frontier ai and that is why as they have released this magnet so this has really uh, become a big deal here and it's a new vision multimodal model called pixtrol 12 billion now if you're wondering what exactly is this thing and how do we decode it as usual uh, i have done a video on it let me actually quickly show you so if you just search on my channel with mistral's magnet so this is the first video which shows you how you can decode this mistral magnet link into model information so i already have decoded it and so far what i have learned is that this model is called as pixtrol it is 12 billion parameter model and it has used GALU and 2D rope for vision adapter. Also, the vocabulary size is quite huge. It is around 132K and its um, tokenizer has three extra tokens, the image, the start and end. And once you download it, the total size of the model is 24 GB of size. So I'll be upfront. I don't know if that would fit on my GPU or not. The GPU which I'm using courtesy mass compute is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So normally it's a touch and go, but I will try and show you how you can do that. So let's try it out together and see if it works or not. But at least we would be few of the very, very first ones to actually uh, attempt that installation. Now, this is a Ubuntu system I'm using and this is a GPU card which I was referring to, NVIDIA RTX A6000. So, let me clear the screen and let me first create a Conda environment. So, for Conda environment, I'm just going to go with Python 3.11. I'm calling it Pixtrol. So, let's wait for it to get created. The environment is created and now let me install the prerequisites for I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to install all the required libraries which are required for vision models normally and I'm installing most of them from the source because you know uh, these transfer transformers and stuff they are not aware of this new model so of course I'm not sure if they would support it or not but these are the commands which we would use so even if it doesn't support now maybe in few hours when uh, or maybe in a day or so when mistral actually releases this model and you have the gpus you can simply follow these commands and try this model out so let's wait for these to get uh, installed because this is going to take three to four minutes let's wait for it 
Okay, everything is installed. Let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And while this launches, let me take you to the Mistral Communities model. So this is not from Mistral, actually. This is not official one. So it might work, it might not work. Let's see what happens. Um, and th this person has just uploaded the decoded magnet and the size is 25.4 gig. And this is what I was talking about. So if you go to params.json, you will see that this is a vocabulary size I was talking about. And these are its number of layers in the model and then hidden dimensions and a lot of other size like what image size it takes and this stuff and you can just go through it. Plus, if you go back to the files, there are a few other tidbits which you can check. Maybe you could go to this taken JSON. Okay, so maybe you could just open it and then you will read it. Uh, and then there is a lot of other stuff. For example, if I just click here in the release one, you see this is a mistral. And then it tells us pick stroll 12 billion. This is a checksum. And then this is what I uh, told you about. Okay, so this is my notebook opening sorry okay so this is what i was talking about KLU for vision adapter and 2d rope for vision encoder which it is using so this is how i got to know about this model now if you go to this community you will see that people are asking already about inference code and for most of the people it's not working because they, they are getting this error so we will try we will try to see if it works in uh uh, in the source code of transformer or not at least we tried so we won't die wondering if, if that we didn't try anyway so this is our jupyter notebook and then let me open the notebook here let's wait for it to load okay so i have imported these libraries and now let's see if it is able to download the model or not so let me run it so I will let it run in front of you so that you also see what errors are there, if there are any, and there are errors. So you see, it has given us Mr. All this does not appear to have a file named PyTorch model bin, save model dot to save tensors. So if you, or maybe I'll take you to my local system and then we will see where it stores it. That should be fun to see. And so for that, normally it stores it here in cache, cache, hugging face hub. And then there should be a model file. And then there should be ref. And then there should be some, okay, main. This is, maybe there is, okay, what it is doing here. Okay, so, sorry about that. CD main. Okay, so okay, so it's a file here. Okay, so you see it was unable to download it here because it can't, can't find model dot save tensor. So if I go back here, go to files, and you will see that there are no there is just this consolidated save tensor, not the this one. So let's do one thing. Instead of going there, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to download this repo. Now, in order to download repo, let's first uh, activate my environment in another terminal of the same server. Let me clear the screen. Now, here, first up, let's make sure that we install this hugging face underscore hub and then do this hugging face CLI login. So, my hugging face hub is already there. You would need a read token from hugging face website which is a free thing. So you would need to sign up or log in there to huggingface.co. And then from there, you would need to uh, grab your read token from your profile. So you can see that my login is successful now. So let me clear screen. Next up, launch Python interpreter. And from there, I would need to download this whole repo. And in order to download it, all I need to do is to go up here, grab this, uh sorry what i mean is the repos id this one i went and then paste it here and then press enter and you see now it has started downloading that snapshot so let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will try that uh checking it in our notebook again or we might just use it from here let's see 
and the download is complete so now if we exit and then go to this directory here and then if i do ls ltr now we have the whole model here and if i double check it is because it is actually pointing it to this blob which is fine so we have our all the files here now let's try to check it out in our notebook let me take you back there so I tried it again and still it's not working. It is still saying that these files are not valid, unfortunately. But anyway, um, as I mentioned earlier, this is just a bleeding edge and cutting edge we are working on. But at least now you know um, what exactly this is uh, means. Uh, of course, now you know that Mistral has also released this Pixtral model, which is still not available. And if you want to decode it, you can decode it by using one of my videos as i showed you and you are a bit more aware of its architecture so can't really wait to get my hands on <clears throat> hands on this model seems like a real good stuff because given the mistral's history so i hope that you got something out of this video let's wait for mistral to release the actual model and then if it is available with olama or with maybe any other quantized version i will also make the video on it so stay tuned as soon as it's out we will be covering it for sure thanks for watching and i hope that you enjoyed it thanks